Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander viewers should use caution when viewing this film, as it may contain images and voices of deceased persons. <laughs> On the 30th of August 2007, the Manti Yupwi people signed the very first township lease for the community of Wurramiyunga on Bathurst Island in the Northern Territory. In this short film, we come back to the Tiwi Islands to have another look at how township leasing is working there and in the other communities on the islands. Well, my experience when 2007, when that old man signed that agreement with Mel Brock with the federal government, it made a lot of changes to the TV island, especially Wurimiana, because it's a big community and it's uh, like Gross Town. And then what that old man did, he made a lot of changes because we got a new supermarket and people are understanding they wanted to buy their own house so they can be responsible for their own house and show other community on the TV islands or even down Arnhem land. You know, it's a good thing to lease your land. I remember that uh, my dad signed the agreement with the township leasing and it was good and I remember we had a lot of uh, meetings to come up with an agreement and we did. We had people living in overcrowded houses, now people are having had new houses and we had new supermarket going up and it's running very well. It's good to work with the uh, Office of Township Leasing. Today, the Wurramiyunga Consultative Forum are honouring Mr. Kerinawa before they start their meeting with a smoking ceremony and a tribute to his memory. The Consultative Forum is a group of traditional owners who work with the Executive Director of Township Leasing to provide advice about land use and economic development. Good morning everyone. Good morning. On behalf of Manchi Patricia Lawrence, we would like to welcome the Minister and everyone that are here today. Thank you for coming. At this meeting, they are signing a new version of the Township Lease to change some of the clauses after completing the five-year review of the lease. You'll recall back in August 2007, the very first township lease uh, was signed here at Warmianga, or New Year as it was then called. Um, and Mr. Karanawa signed, and then the Minister signed, and the Land Council signed, and we all set off on the big adventure of township leasing. Uh, because it was the first township lease, uh, it was a bit of a step into the dark for all the parties in terms of working out what was going to work. And it's very pleasing to note just how much of it has worked, that the essential way in which a township lease 
uh, was outlined at least is, is what has been implemented um, and I think it's gone very well. So what Australia now sees happening on the Tiwi Islands is a new way for them. A new way to make the words of economic development into something real. Something that really means something. For a long time, people have had words. Economic development for Aboriginal people on land. Economic development on country. For a long time, there's just been words. And so, what you have all done is change the words into something real. And I think that was the difficulty for so many people who are now, I think, going to use the model you've created, that beacon, that fire on the hill, to make sure that they can move forward. So we've all, always wondered why it is that Aboriginal people who own land and have always owned land, why is it that other people who own land in Australia can have private rent? They can own their own homes. But for Aboriginal people, you couldn't. That seemed wrong. That wasn't right. And so TV Island said, no, that's not. So we need to have a look at how we can change the nature of land so we can have a home ownership but still be confident that land is still Tiwi land. The country is growing really fast and this, everything now that we see here is all new. Before it wasn't like this, it was really, really quiet, but now we have everything here going. The township lease has encouraged commercial development in Wurramiyunga, including visitor accommodation and a new community store. Local businesses are also contracted to maintain the town area, which has created employment. Well, every Friday we're doing this, every Friday, you know, cleaning. After we using it, then clean the machine, ready for, for next week, work, back to work. Well, Last year we created 22 new full-time jobs within the community. We've achieved several major milestones. We've been able to build the supermarket and shopping centre, which is fully let to people, and the supermarket is going very, very well. The idea of the supermarket was to improve the quality of food and to provide fresh fruit and veggies so the people's health would be better. A major development using investment money from the township lease is the new shopping centre complex owned by Manti Yupwi Proprietary Limited. I like to go shopping here every time I come here and do my little bit of groceries, you know, at the Friday when I get a pay. And it is good, you know. It's pretty good. Yes. You know, it seems that you want to want anything like that, you know, and like uh, tooth rice and all this variety, like milk, sugar and everything, you know, bread, and all, it's all here. And little medical uh, pharmacy thing is right here and looking at you, you know. Yeah, this is a place I do shopping, spend all my money here, every pay week. Yeah, I know a lot of people, I think a lot of people come here, you know, to do their shopping. Yeah, really it's good. The changes desired from 99 year lease are gradually happening. In the last six months, we've had three leases issued to non-government people and three homes have been built. This would never have happened without the 99 year lease in place. So we're beginning to get that change. Not only have we got private ownership of homes occurring within the community, and I believe at the moment we have 15 of those signed up, we now, now, now have outside people buying leases and building homes. I recommend for the others, you know, to uh, take on board like the others, Tiwi, are uh, buying houses. You know, some of them are renting. Because one day, I, you know, I, I want to, me and my wife, we want to buy a house, two bedroom house, that's enough for us. Yeah. Mm. The other 
rest angel people that live at Gurumyang are uh, pretty pleased with what we're doing, seeing things here around Gurumyang, and they are very happy that what my father did. <laughs> In September of 2013, the garage was transferred from New Yu Ulunjini Association to Tiwi Enterprises, a process facilitated with assistance from the Office of Township Leasing. This change has allowed the business to grow and employ more local people. It's made a difference. Um, it's, it's a Tiwi owned enterprise for our people, so, which is good, which is, we can work on local car, <laughs> clinics, police, school, or, or anybody what car they want to be get fixed here, so. What's the screw in it? Joseph's tie. <laughs> Part there, that's the CV joint, that's what we call. So, I had to take the wheels off and all other little bits and pieces to put this new one in. That's, yeah, and this is where I'm at. So, there's still a lot of work to be done. But I need to put all that back together. See where I'm going? I would like to see more younger TV, young TV men to come and get involved in work like what I do and what we do here. Um, yeah, it's very important for us and this is our opportunity, their opportunity and us to, uh, for our future. Yeah, look, there's, it's a lot better now, like we've got good support. Um, and having Tiwi Enterprise supporting us and um, you know getting us through is, is really good. Um, yeah, it just steadies our future and it's heading in the right direction, you know. So, yeah. But no, look, it's good for the boys, you know, it's, it's in their community, so it's a good for steady future here and we've got a couple of guys that are going through doing their trades as well. So when it's all done and said, you know, they'll come out qualified. So I think that's really important here. Um, yeah, plenty of work, good and steady, and yeah, good future for the Tiwis. Welcome back, listeners. This is Radio 2213, coming to you live from the sunny Tiwi Island. In the studio, we have B2M. This is the Queen driving. From Melakapati, Queen Elizabeth the Third, <laughs> taking the trip back to Mili and to my homeland, Melarangku. The traditional owners of Millikapati and Waranku went ahead with signing a township lease on the 22nd of November 2011. We signed it, I signed it and the others, which is, which is a great thing, good thing to do, because um, first time they said, don't lease your land. And I said, you don't tell me because I am a traditional owner and I want to release, uh, I want to list the land. Be on the streets and lucky on a brick road, I leave a scar wherever I go. Ain't nobody got to know who's up, who's down, everybody want to be like us. What is in the community that living, uh, they are resident today at Malakapati? I'm doing it for everybody, not only the family. But, you know, we've got to respect one another. Like, if they respect for me, I show my respect to them. A good example, for say, that's what I want. 
I think this month they are doing up a, a shop, new takeaway shop and a, a petrol station. Upgrade the elbow, plus the roads. Because it's not true. I'm still living on my land. The land lives like that forever. And the, the young man should take over. Mm. Some community anywhere that don't, that don't want to lease their land. So I, I, We've we seen that on the television. But it's, it's different to us what we want 2014. And they tell you that you're going to lose control of your country and your community. But I don't think that's true because being a, a director, I, I have consulted with a lot of people, business people, before they do business on Milikapiti. And I'm sure they do that to the directors at Burum Yanga. Yeah. It doesn't take away anything as a traditional owner. It gives you more power. And, and people can't just come in and, and do what they want to do. They have to come and respect Tiwi people and, and Tiwi culture. You you got to have to commit yourself as a director and, and, and make uh, the decision that will benefit your country and your, your people. And in the best interest of your, your business and your family. It doesn't happen overnight, it's work in progress. And yeah, we, we're building on it, we're building on our business. Yeah, it's opportunity, business opportunity for the community and the traditional owners. And, and not only the traditional owners, for the Tiwi, uh, the traditional owners and the people living on the land. It's open for business. You can make money, economic development. Yeah, and you, you get government support. Yeah, it's really, really good. I've learnt a lot. The community of Pearl and Gympie is also talking about a township lease. The minister has come to talk to the traditional owners about the benefits of township leasing. Now clearly, the wider benefits that have been demonstrated in that other place, it's very easy to see why they should be delivered here. Home ownership and economic development is fundamentally what every other Australian takes for granted. So if you can own your own home as an Australian in Sydney or Brisbane or Adelaide or anywhere like that, why is it that you shouldn't as an Aboriginal person on your own land be able to own your own home or have your own business in exactly the same way? If you take this opportunity up, it's a decision about your land, it is entirely your decision. So we're there to help and assist and we're not here to push any agenda uh, on anyone. And that, has been, that, uh, that is the reason fundamentally why I think it's been so well accepted in other places. It really, it's there for the offering, it's something on the table. Uh, you might say we don't like that particular, but we might have some of that, which means there's some negotiation in that. Um, and of course that is the most respectful way to conduct business. Uh, between government and community. We return to Wurramiyunga to witness a major milestone of the township lease, completion of the five-year review. Well, to me, it's a good thing for my people on the TV island. Yeah, like you got to think like a non-TV person. You know, there's a lot of changes been done. Like we got a new supermarket, we got the accommodation, plus we got TV tours operating. We got to be patient, but we make sure we get it right. 
and we're going to be professional. More discussion going on, like, see, my uh, people, we sat down and talked with the government how we can work together, how to achieve what we want. So Milikabadi community at Wulranku, people are talking and we all each support each other to get to where we want to go, where they're all kind of left behind. So we're going to carry it on till the next generation. That's what he said to us, Mob, as Mandiri group. We need to do what he left behind. We're going to continue on. So we're going to get there one day.